Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Decentralized Chain. It's Faroza bringing you all things blockchain. So in today's episode, we are going to be talking to Chung Dao behind Aura Chain. Now, it's an oracle with a difference. The difference being that they're looking to implement AI into their oracle landscape. And with that, it's interesting because AI has always been challenging when it comes to oracles, just purely from a strictness perspective, when you're looking at exactly the syntax is very fixed in terms of smart contracts. It's, you know, in and out. There isn't really much negotiation for ifs or buts. You've also got the environment. Smart contracts are predominantly written in Python, um, not Python, but smart contracts are predominantly written in Solidity or Rust. And then you've got AI models that are pretty much generated in Python or Java. And then the last piece you've got around this is around data size. So smart contracts, you know, they need to be small in order to conserve space because obviously the larger they are, the higher the transactional fee. And similarly, if you then start bringing AI into this space, then that also then starts making that actual data, data file size even bigger. So there are a number of key challenges when it comes to introducing AI into oracles but there are also benefits that you get from doing that as well. At the same time, you can have enhanced AI-based farming strategies. So you can up that ROI, you know, for the yield chasers. You've got methods of identification that you can bring into it. You can actually start looking at bringing in biometric methods, face, fingerprint recognition. You've also got things around automated trading based on price predictions, as well as AI strategies for lending based on credit scores. That's just to name a few. There's so many applications um, that you can derive from introducing AI into oracles. But rather than me talking all about that, we are going to be talking to Chung Dao, one of the founders behind OraChain, to really tell us everything about OraChain, what they got coming up, what's going up on their roadmap, and what do we have to look forward to in December and January, because their mainnet is around the corner. But before we do, if this is the type of content that you like, then don't forget to hit the like button below definitely drop a subscription to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of my upcoming episodes and as always there is yet another hundred dollar giveaway so make sure you follow the rules in the description below to understand how you can be entered for that prize let's jump on in and speak to chung dao dr chung dao welcome to the show um we're always fans of oracles here on decentralized chain. Uh, so when I heard about uh, Aura Chain and AI and oracles, I thought, you know what, it, it's a must-have to get you on the show. So, uh, so welcome. How have you been? Well, hello, and uh, thank you for inviting me uh, today. And uh, today is uh, quite uh, cold, and uh, it, it's still something in Hanoi. Ah. And, uh, yeah. So for those who don't know uh, where Hanoi is, that's Vietnam, right? In Vietnam, That's so right. uh, it's right, it based in uh, Singapore, but uh, our development and uh, research team in Hanoi, so our own team in Hanoi. But uh, we have some uh, advisor and uh, other uh, kind of community board, so mm. it's not so it should be everywhere uh, in the world, all over the place. In in the true nature of being decentralized. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, let's 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 talk about uh, Aura Chain. Um, for our viewers, uh, because uh, some are not familiar with what oracles are. Um, some may think Oracle, the software company, some may think the Oracle from the movie Matrix, but it's uh, but it's neither in this case. So, I mean, at a at a basic need, I mean, what is an Oracle, Chung? Well, so um, yeah, I think that it's a very uh, important component uh, on the blockchains. And, um, you know, that is uh, so far is a, uh, Blockchain is it focused mainly on uh, tokenized license and uh, it's, it's not uh, widely used in the industry yet. Mm -hmm. So the main reason is uh, come from uh, it, it's quite difficult to uh, connect the off chain data from outside to the blockchains. And um, let's see this one example like when we want to uh, get the price uh, like like Bitcoin price and uh, we need to uh, read the data from uh, Coinbase and Comicap. And uh, the, so the data from uh, two different uh, data sources, so it can give uh, different values. And uh, we need the uh, Oracle, it uh, can, can help it uh, to uh, bring very trusted data and uh, aggregated uh, data mm -hmm. to the smart. So the Oracle here is not the, the company name, right? Oracle. Yeah, yeah. But it have, uh, the person in the, the middle can uh, bring the trusted data to the smart contracts. 
So that's the way. So how we we call the the, the oracle in general. Okay, and you know, in in terms of uh, oracles from Orochain's perspective, um, it's interesting because uh, you're you're adapting AI into your Oracle landscape. Um, I mean, I'm just curious what that, what that actually means because I would have thought it would have been a bit of a challenge to even run AI models inside smart contracts. So yeah, it's, so uh, we, uh, we in our Oracle, so we call the right chains. So it's mainly focused on the AI API. So it's mm. mainly focused on AI data outside. And um, so there's, uh, let, let me tell some uh, reasons. So why uh, the AI model cannot uh, run and uh, embed it uh, into the smart contract. Mm -hmm. So the one is uh, the strictness. So every uh, input for the smart contract should be 100% currency. Like you sign your signature, should be the, your, your own signature. So it should be 100% yeah. correct. And you have, uh, uh, the output is uh, you transfer the, your money to other worries. Mm -hmm. But the AI model, it doesn't uh, give the 100% accuracy. Like, for example, the face recognition of uh, prior prediction, right? Mm -hmm. is, is, is the accuracy is around from uh, 70 and, until the 95% is quite high in, in the AI uh, domain. And um, so the Orion chain can, uh, can, can abridge to, to uh, kind of make it a trade off between the security and uh, AI mm -hmm. outside. AI. In, uh, okay. The second is uh, from the environment, right? The, yeah. Um, so when you, so when you talk about environments, that's uh, what, like the programming languages in terms of Solidity, Rust? Yes, right. The AI is a model, it's a typical written in uh, Python and Java. Mm, okay. Uh, the last reason is uh, from um, uh, the data size. So you know that smart contract has a small data size, right? It's mm. uh, it helps to reduce the chances of fee. And uh, but the AI model is quite huge, comparatively uh, huge to the uh, typical smart contracts. So these are kind of all the challenges that we have, right? Because uh, I, I suppose that I, I suppose when you transaction fees is quite a, quite an important one within this space because certainly the the larger the transaction size, the the more the fee, right? In this space, in terms of and and this is where Orochain, I suppose, becomes a a differentiator almost because it kind of uh, helps fetch those i'm assuming within within the architecture that you've that you've designed yeah so um yeah we focus on the ai api and uh, we have a uh, very special uh, request mm -hmm. uh, like including the, the parameter for ai and uh, test case so we, we basically use a test case to uh, check the quality of uh, ai provider and um and also we have a kind of ai marketplace mm -hmm. we can have to user and smart contract can choose the best uh, uh, AI APIs uh, with the reasonable price. Okay. So, I mean, it's it's an interesting concept. Um, certainly, I can see the benefits um, over what we have today, and which kind of leads me into my next question, because, you know, I, I do feel that the Oracle space within crypto um, you know, it certainly is competitive. Um, you know, there's, there are some already major oracles operating in this space already. You know, you've got your band protocols, you've got your chain link, um, Teller. So, so I'm I'm curious what what makes you different from those existing oracles. So um, uh, let me to uh, explain. So what is the difference between the right chain and band and chain mm. link? Um, we uh, you know we know that we focus mainly on uh, AIs, so it means that we support the different uh, uh, requests. So the request here should be the for AI, like including test case and some parameter for uh, AIs. And um, we 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 uh, uh, improve the quality from the AI outside based on the test case. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you can think that it's a right chain like kind of uh, bridge. It can it can have to connect the, the AI outside to the smart contracts. Mm -hmm. So let me uh, an example from uh, the price uh, fitting. Like you know that uh, for the smart contract, it, it will uh, get the price from uh, like chain link or band protocol, right? Mm -hmm. From 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 the uh, data source. And here we um we 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 do it can can have to get the price. Uh, uh, but 
uh, the raw data will come to the, our uh, AI model and uh, it can get the right predictions for the user. Mm -hmm. And uh, and use the right predictions from the raw data, it, it come to the AI model, come from the AI uh, providers. And it means that smart contracts now can have some knowledge, right? It can can predict, predict something. Right, like, okay. You know that it might be the mm. model, maybe the price can be off of Bitcoin and maybe we can predict that if the, the ROI and the API for the for, for zip pool, it is swap pool or some kind of other valve, it can be better tomorrow and maybe we can start buying or mm. we can selling at, at the time we, we predict them from the, our outside AI model. Okay. And so, I mean, you know, so that's, that's a, I think very important to define uh, world now. They want to get something interesting from uh, AI. Mm. So, in terms of what you offer generally for these products, so we're sort of looking at, um, I suppose in a way, these are enhanced smart contracts um, because you're you're providing, I suppose, a secure, I suppose, a secure mechanism to access external AI APIs. Um, but there's also you also have a marketplace, right, um, within Orochain as well. So, what does that marketplace do exactly? Well, the in the marketplace, so mm. any AI provider, I mean the individual AI developer and a small company, mm -hmm. so they can they can conduct and put their AI model to the, our AI marketplace. Okay. And and uh, for example, you have a, a very good AI model for the prior predictions, and you can conduct to the right chains. And then uh, others uh, users and uh, smart contracts, mm -hmm. you know, if you, they want to, to use the AIs on the right chain, so they just to, to check the marketplace to choose the, the good one mm -hmm. and, uh, from the marketplace. And then you've also got st staking and earning as well? Yes. So how does that, how does that process work exactly? I mean, do you just become delegators or, had, or validators? I mean, had, how does that sort of generally yeah. encompass itself? For the for the all right holder, so it, it can play a role like a validator or uh, delegator. Mm -hmm. So if they have a machine to run a, a, a node, so I mean the physical machine to run the node or any uh, virtual machine to run the node, so they can play a role like a validator. Okay. And uh, and, and they, they need to stake the all right to the validator. And uh, for the other small investors, so if they don't want to run the node, so mm -hmm. they can. Uh, become the delegator and they also stick to the validator okay. and uh, so we, we provide a uh, kind of API for validator and delegator so it ranges from 20% uh, until 70% it depends on the how many ORI is taken stick, is to the, the ORI chains mm -hmm. and then and then the other bit that you've, I've noticed as well, is you, you've got a DAO as well right you've got the ORI DAO for governance right what, what can I mean so in terms of governance what what does that really mean? It means that you, um, the ORI chain is belong to the community. Mm -hmm. so any kind of parameter and any update, very strong update, and, uh, and, and the community will decide that is, uh, so which one is better, and they will vote based on the, the ORI holder. Okay. So a, a, there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot beyond just being, just with it than just being an oracle as such. Let's, um, let's, talk, a bit, let's talk a bit about your roadmap. Um, because uh, you know those who will be listening into this show, um, the sales are done, private sales are done, the token is listed, um, you're in full blown delivery. So I'm curious, what do you have um, leading up to your mainnet and beyond? Because uh, when I looked at your roadmap last, December seemed to be pretty busy um, in terms of uh, your ambitions, uh, where you kind of want to go. Because I've sort of I've read test nets on the beta version, you've got partnerships coming up we've got yield farming and you know yield farming is quite a quite a big piece as well and then obviously the marketplace that we just spoke about so um what can you tell us about uh about all these really well yeah so december is the now now it's christmas right but, yeah uh, no team the december is still long <laughs> so now we uh we will uh, release the test net in uh, this week mm -hmm. so everybody Enjoy the reward program for validators. So each 
each validator can deposit the 500 or rise to the vault and they will run the machine to mm -hmm. test our system. And uh, we will start it in, uh, in this week on, uh, on today, they, they can uh, deposit to the vault and uh, they, they start to run their machine tomorrow. Okay. So that's very important to, to check that our test net. Mm. So the second one is, uh, we, you mentioned is uh, YI uh, your farming. Yep. It means that we will provide the, the AI based strategy farming strategy for, for, for our uh, YAI. So this kind of strategy is the, it's from the origin. Mm -hmm. So provided by the AI provider. And uh, the strategy will be written to the origins. And uh, our YAI platform will uh, read the strategy on the origins. Then it can start to farm to, uh, in a different uh, pool, like Uniswap or mm -hmm. Landing like, like uh, Compower RV. But um, at the beginning, so we uh, only start with with a uh, different pool to, to get the uh, better ROIs, and so that I think that very important. So we call that is the the first uh, AI based strategy uh, mm -hmm. in the world. So I hope that other DeFi strategy can also reuse our strategy as well. We know that it's uh, in the DeFi uh, uh, world, so they they we also learn from X other right from yeah, strategy. Yeah. In different kind of uh, good strategy to uh, to get the better yield for our investor. Well, every, every, everyone's yeah. always chasing that yield more than anything else. <laughs> and then the and and I, and I know we so, so you've got mainnet and obviously marketplace coming around the corner. Um, what, what can you mainnet. share about those? Yeah, the mainnet uh, should be after one month from from our testnet. Okay. So today is uh, six. This means that mainnet should be around uh, in the end of the January. In January sometime, okay. And then what and, about uh, the launch of your marketplace then? Yeah, so that's very important. Like we uh, we already uh, prepared uh, 70 AI API. So in the end of the January, we will provide 100 uh, AI API to the, our marketplace. Mm -hmm. And um, at the beginning, so any end user, so they can use the AI on our AI marketplace. And uh, you, you know that it's, uh, they, they use kind of different AI applications like uh, the, the face recognition or a background remove and uh, something like the makeup of uh, mm -hmm. their face. So any end any user, so they can use the AI, but they don't know that the, this AI service is uh, running on the origin and, and blockchain service. I, 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 I think it's pretty impressive, to be honest. Um, you know, and I can, I think from a, I'm going to say more from an adoption perspective, um, you know, having your mainnet launch in January also with a fully fledged marketplace um, should help back up what it is that you're, you know, aiming to get out of it from in terms of from from RI chain. Now let's uh, let's talk about uh, partnership and announcements. What what can you what can you announce here that people aren't ready to know yet? Well, so uh, in December we uh, announced two main partnership. The mm -hmm. first one is uh, is a uh, very big. Uh, IT company in Vietnam, and um, they invest to uh, Orion Chain. So they invest a uh, ten percent to the Orion Chains, and that's the reason. So why uh, we cancel our private sale? So now we uh, we uh, can get the talents, the engineer from the Rikesoft. So that's why is our uh, mainnet will be have more people coming to our fix our, and update our okay. mainnet mm -hmm. from. So that is our first partner, and also they have a. a because of uh, AI, so it can also connect uh, their AI to our mainnet, so we can get more customer from their company. Mm. And um, yeah, so the second partnership is uh, from uh, Karia Church. So uh, they, they mainly uh, uh, focus uh, on the kind of, uh, product for um, kind of for, for Vietnamese market, mm -hmm. and uh, now they, they become kind of a market leader in uh, in the entertainment for for end user, so based on their uh, platforms. So now is the career chain will use our uh, uh, Oracle and uh, AI Oracle to get uh, the, the, the kind of uh, price fit on, and also uh, our kind of AI service like fit recognition mm -hmm. and uh, to, to make their application more attractive and more useful. Wow, so uh, a, a lot, a, a lot to come in terms of uh, Aura Chain and, and when what's happened so far. 
Uh, what about, um, let's talk about uh, not necessarily raising capital, but more the Orichain token. Because, um, you know, capital raises are all done. And, um, you know, it's performing well on the secondary marketplace. Um, but I'm curious, uh, you know, beyond just uh, value representation, um, you know, what, what does it, what does it mean to actually hold a to hold a token? Well, yeah. So um, in aspect of uh, tokenomics, so for the Orion holder, so they can uh, get have uh, very some different uh, benefit. Mm -hmm. The first one, so we, we mentioned before, right? So they can uh, uh, they can stake and uh, earn the reward for for their become a validator or delegator, right? In mm -hmm. the right chain uh, network, and. Um, the second one is, is, is more important is uh, about the kind of, uh, the fee the fee for the AI service will be uh, paid uh, mm -hmm. using so it means that for the end user so they should use the ORI to pay any kind of AI service on the right chains and uh, I think that it can kind of become very mass adoption for the ORI token in the future when we have a maybe ten thousand or maybe million of the end user. From the outside world, they use the AI service on the right chain, so they did use the right token. So that that very important token domain mm. for. And um, the third one is uh, we we also mentioned right is the right now, yeah. so they can uh, right chain uh, owner, so they can vote and uh, for any kind of uh, parameter change or update in the right chain network and policy as well. Okay, so you got to be obviously a token holder to participate in governance overall. Um, now, the the other thing I'm always interested in, actually, um, you know, is is a lot in this space in terms of DeFi. There's there's always a you know there always seems to be raises with uh, with uh, with projects, um, which then ultimately you know kind of bootstraps them to you know carry on developing. Now, I'm I'm curious though when. When the raises are done, I'm, I'm, you know, it's one thing that I'm always interested in from a business perspective, is that once that's complete, where do you where do you generate your revenue from? Um, you know, once once you've launched the main net, uh, how do you how do you I suppose plan to grow the business? Well, so um, it's uh, our um, plans in quite long term uh, projects and. Our, our vision is uh, to interconnect the AI and blockchain, mm -hmm. and it can help uh, to make their uh, real, realize their full uh, potentials. And uh, based on uh, that kind of vision, so we uh, have a plan to uh, develop and uh, provide different uh, products. Mm -hmm. And uh, the first one, you can see that we uh, have a kind of uh, the DeFi strategy. Yeah, so it can, can provide by the right chains. And uh, yeah, it, we, we want to output output from. Uh, the, the car and the uh, kind of uh, wi Wi Fi. So, so let's see. So, how about the, our AI mm. strategy? Can have to optimize and maximize the yield for the investor. So, that's the first one. Um, the second one is uh, our um, you know, AI marketplace. Mm -hmm. So, we, we, we want to become a kind of, uh, very kind of main player in the AI marketplace and uh, public sir. And uh, it should be we will we, we, maybe. Compared to the Google uh, AI or mm -hmm. IBM AI, we want to become the kind of, uh, main player in, in that field as well. And um, uh, the first one is that we uh, want to uh, not only provide the AI APIs, we also want to focus more on other data. And uh, we, we want to, to become kind of market leader in the field. The, 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 AI, the, the API, like, like you know that we have a rapid API, right? Very yep. common for, for, a, for API. And uh, we want to become also the main player in that field. And, uh, okay. And uh, that's the third one. And uh, the next one is uh, we uh, we focus more on, on AI. So that's why we have plan to provide the kind of uh, AI training. So we call that proof of training in, in our right chain. So okay. everybody has have a CPU so they can uh, can train the model and that's become kind of uh, proof of training. It's similar to proof of work, right? So we have yeah. a proof of training. <laughs> I like it. It, it can help to other people can can run the, and can get AI the model and AI data. You know that is the the AI only can become very strong when we have a huge community. Mm -hmm. so the data is from 
at a different people and the, the different environment. So it can have a better uh, uh, model for the AI. So we want to, to kind of uh, provide a kind of proof of training for, for AI. Mm. And um, yeah, so the next one is we also want to do it uh, something like the data stacking. Mm-hmm. And uh, the data set, so we can uh, get uh, stack. You can stack it to, to the, some different data set. So the concept is quite similar to, a little bit similar to the OSINs protocol. So what you're doing now, but we, we also have plan to, to develop the, uh, the data set stacking. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, so similar to Ocean Ocean Protocol. Okay, understood. And then I suppose with with, with all of this uh, AI, you know, AI AI talk, AI sort of development. Um, I, I suppose there's a competitive angle here in terms of, uh, you know, trying to become a market leader in this space. I suppose uh, with uh, well, like Kaggle dot com. Yeah. Yeah. So that is the type of, uh, in the future we uh, want to, uh, to to do the kind of competition. Like you know that is many AI developer and, uh, and and data scientists they uh, they they do the com- com- uh, contest the AI contest. Yeah. And, uh, provide the AI model to the cargo. So we, we lose we lose the same thing. Like we have a origin contest and uh, data scientists and AI developers they can join to to develop the, uh, the AI model for the origins. Uh, it's it's healthy competition more than anything else i think in in that space so uh, as we as we draw to a close um in terms of uh, our conversations today uh, you know a few of the things that i always like to finish up on is you know is 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 a focus on community um community is very important within crypto um because you know without it you're not really going to go very far um, and that's just my opinion. So I'm just curious, um, you know, how do we plan or what are your plans to have your community engaged going forward? What can they look forward to? So um, so that community is very uh, important uh, for us. So it kind of well, our first priority when our, whatever we uh, decide, so we also consider our communities. Mm. In our direction, so we our decision should be uh, avoiding the, the price, negative price pressure to the, our overall tokens. And uh, we want to run very long-term projects. So we, we, we want to keep our community healthy and we will support it to, in, in next uh, three or five years. Mm-hmm. And um, so we can see that the, we uh, cancel our private sales and public sales. So and uh, it, it, it comes from uh, our community feedback and they send us and we listen to the, our community. We, every our action, we choose by on the community uh, uh, comment and feedbacks. And even when uh, we up, uh, we revise our token uh, on Monday this week. So mm. we, everything we do is for our community. Well, that's, uh, that's, uh, it's impressive. It's impressive, actually. Um, you know, I, I think in this space, some have listened to the communities in terms of their sales. Some have not some have chosen to do whatever they want um so you know it's 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 good to hear that you um that you have the that you have the community's back more than anything else so uh on that note um chang dao thank you so much uh for walking us through orochain today um with such a landscape of oracles uh focused projects um it's it's interesting to see uh orochain and especially the sort of focus that you've taken more around the ai driven piece um you know, which I think becomes the next evolution almost uh, within oracles, um, you know, to to better that ecosystem, if you will. So, I mean, before we wrap up, um, you know, where, where do you where do our viewers need to go to find out more about Orochain? Well, yeah, so uh, I think it's, uh, there's many things interesting uh, on the Orochains and uh, the the real ones is about our testnet round programming uh, programs so that, that's very attractive mm-hmm. so i hope that it will rise to uh, to to become a validator in uh, in our testnet and also the mainnet in in uh, next month thank you no, cheers well uh, i suppose uh, you'll be around on twitter um we've got the telegram channel so i'll put all the links below and uh thanks so much chunk for the time enjoy the rest of your day and uh, i'll see you soon Thank you. Cheers. Bye-bye.